Hey, blessings, prayer warriors. God bless you on this Monday, February 26. Listen, I got some news that we need to pray about this morning. I was informed last night, I didn't know about it, that one of the YWAM, we just had Juan and uh, Tracy Galloway at our church, one of the YWAM uh, mini buses in Tanzania was hit by a big truck that lost its brake and 11 people were killed. Let me just read to you the update that I got here. Many of you may have heard of the tragedy that took place on the 24th of February in Tanzania. Leaders and students were involved in this from the executive master program that were on field trips with other YWAMers. One minibus was struck and overrun by a large truck with failing brakes. It is with great sadness that we confirm friends and co-workers have passed away. Below are the names of those who have gone to be with Jesus, and for security purposes, their full name and nationalities have been kept confidential. And I, I don't know if you can see the names, if you want to take a picture of that snapshot and pray for their families. There are also others in critical condition. There are others that are in the hospital <clears throat> in stable condition. All others out on the field trip with the master intensive are safely back at the base. If your friends do not appear on this list, they were not in the accident. So this is what's going on, and I thought we take some time and pray for these missionaries, young students that were going to be missionaries, and on and on. How sad, how sad. Juan is okay, but I believe if I read uh, correctly uh, from Erin, she sent this Erin Gunn Russell to me. Um, Juan Galloway's aunt died in the accident, and his uncle Jordan is in critical condition but stable. Here's a family that is all missionaries, amen? Anyway, I just thought we'll pray for the prayer cards and we'll lift up the nations, but let's go ahead and put our hearts into this. That's why we are prayer warriors. Amen? Amen. Let's pray. Father God, of course, we praise you and honor you, not for the tragedy, but we know these were all believers, and right now, they're with you, Lord Jesus, a place that we long to be. They are seeing heaven, Lord. But I pray now for, first of all, we pray for those that are in critical condition, those that are still in the hospital, those that were on the other van, those that might not have been injured, so many variables going on here with this, Lord. We lift up this whole situation. We just wrap our arms around them. <clears throat> we pray for the families that are involved here, getting news that your child who is on a missionary adventure of YWAM are now with Jesus. And I still would rather my kid have this happen to him and be with Jesus than be out on drugs or anything else in this world and still be alive. So I pray for these families, the mom, the dads, the brothers, the sisters, whoever it might be, and we just pray shalom, peace, Lord. <coughs> Supernatural peace for all of these. Oh, Father, to depart from the body is to be present with the Lord, I get it. But while we're on this earth, we still grieve when we lose children, when we lose parents, when we lose uncles and aunts that I'm reading about here. I lift up Juan and Tracy and I pray for their hearts. This is probably the first tragedy they've seen since they've been commissioned with YWAM as leaders. So they're going to have a, a lot of counseling, a lot of things to do for others, Lord. So I pray that you strengthen them, give them the courage that they need. We pray, Father, for those that are in the hospital right now, those that are in critical condition. I'm getting reports of two to five. I don't know what the exact number is, but that, that's neither here nor there. We lift them up before you, Father, and we just pray for them right now in Jesus' name. We pray, Father, for a touch of heaven upon them. We pray, Father, that they 
can have supernatural healing, supernatural healing in Jesus' name. Lord, you are our healer. You are our provider, and I just thank you. Thank you for helping these people out right now in Jesus' name. I pray, Father, for the leaders that are in this area in Tanzania, all that's involved, bodies have to be sent back home to different states, different countries, the expense that's going to be involved in something like that, medical expenses, on and on and on and on and on and on this goes. Lord, this is devastating, this is rough, but you will make a way, Father, as you always do, that you will guide the leaders there, that you will help them to make wise decisions that they will not be taken advantage of during this devastating time, but they will have peace, they will have favor, they will even have the government to come and support them during this time. I don't know all the countries of the people that are involved here, but wherever they came from, the United States, Canada, Mexico, wherever it might be, I pray for your guidance to get the bodies home, to get the injured home, that they're receiving the best medical care there, and they're receiving our supernatural prayers right now in Jesus' name. Come on, let's just pray in the Spirit just for a minute here. Lord, we don't know how to pray as we ought. We don't know what exactly is going on on the other side of the world in Africa here, Lord. But we make intercession through the Holy Ghost, just like we talked about on Sunday. Oh, we lift up YWAM right now that this won't uh, weaken them, but it'll strengthen them, Lord. Lord, I know they've had other tragedies in the past, but I don't know if they've ever had something this big before. So we pray, Father, we pray for the entire organization, a great organization, youth with a mission to help young people find their way in life. We just had them at our church just a few weeks ago to share with the young people a, a way. Oh, we pray, Father, we pray for them in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you for receiving our prayers and helping them all out in any way possible here. Lord, we do lift up the prayer cards that have come in on Sunday. We pray for our different missions and our different uh, areas that we support. We pray for our world, the United States, Lord. But right now our heart goes out for other missionaries, other Christian workers, other people that we support around the world because in a way, we don't want to do it. We don't want to go there, but we support them. And you said in your word, rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. So we weep with them. I pray for that mommy and daddy, that brother and sister, that friend, that loved one who's lost a loved one now. And I just pray your supernatural touch for them, Lord. And I just thank you for your arms surrounding them, surrounding these parents, these brothers and sisters, these family members. I thank you for supernatural peace that only you can give, Father. And Father, in life and in death, we praise you. We love you, our Father. We love you so much. And we know that this life is but a vapor that appears for a while and vanishes away. But as we read in the epistles in Acts, even Paul was hurt when loved ones, friends died. 
We just thank you for your comfort upon these today. We lift up these prayers now. We lift up these family members now. We lift up YWAM and we lift up every missionary group that's out there in this hostile world. I know this is an accident, a truck hitting the, the van, but we also know that there are evil people out there that don't want Christians to come into their area. Help them, protect them, guide them, lead them. Now, Father, I praise you, I honor you, and I love you. We love you. We exalt that beautiful name, the name of Jesus, my Lord, our Savior. We'll exalt you in life and in one day in death when we leave this natural body to be with you, Lord, forever in your presence. Well, there'll be no more pain, no more sorrow, no more suffering, no more death. The former things will be passed away. I pray for these precious ones today. Keep them safe. Protect them from the enemy, from the, 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 the web of this world, Lord. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We put this on the prayer chain as soon as we heard. But please share this so other people would get it and pray. You can even put urgent on it so others will be praying for these. Amen. How tragic. How tragic. But we continue on. Amen. Because we have a great future in front of us. Hallelujah. We are looking up. We're living in warp speed days. Scripture is being fulfilled. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please again share this, put urgent prayer time, something like that, so others would join in and pray for those that are still alive, injured, and the family members. God bless.